সালাম আলাইকুম বিরতির পর আবার আমরা ফিরে এলাম আজকের চ্যারিটি ইন প্রোগ্রেস অনুষ্ঠানে কথা বলছিলাম আলী শাহার সাথে আমরা শুনছিলাম ইন আ প্রিভিয়াস সেগমেন্ট যে কীরকম তারা ডেফ কমিউনিটির জন্য কাজ করে যাচ্ছেন এবং কীরকম তাদেরকে ইসলাম বা জ্ঞান শিক্ষা দিচ্ছেন বিভিন্ন ধরনের ইসলামিক শিক্ষা কোরআনের শিক্ষা এবং ইম্পর্টেন্টলি কোরআনের যে কমপ্লেক্স যে শিক্ষাগুলি আছে এরকম কীরকম এটাকে সিম্প্লিফাই করে তাদের যেভাবে বোঝার সুবিধা হয় এইসব বিষয় নিয়ে আমরা প্রথম সেগমেন্টে আলোচনা করছিলাম এই সেগমেন্টে আমরা আলোচনা করব যে সাইক্লিং ইভেন্ট যেটা হচ্ছে এটা কোথা থেকে হচ্ছে কীভাবে হচ্ছে আপনারা কীভাবে অংশগ্রহণ করতে পারেন এবং মোস্ট ইম্পর্টেন্টলি আমরা জানার চেষ্টা করব দুটি আপিল হয়েছিল এই গত বছর রোজা মাসে কীরকম সফলতা অর্জন করেছেন এবং কীরকম তারা আপনাদের দেয়া ডোনেশনকে কাজে লাগিয়েছেন এই বিষয় সব আমরা ইনশাল্লাহ এই সেগমেন্টে জানার চেষ্টা করব না Brother Shams al-Abidin, if I can start with you. Now, the events that you have talked about, um, I am aware that you will be taking part with Al-Ishara for a cycling event. Now, if you can start, where is this event happening and when is it happening? Okay, so this event that we're doing for Al-Ishara is um, called London to Margate, nicknamed, codenamed L2M, mm -hmm. is how we uh, code our names, our rides. It's starting from, you will start from East London, the uh, Altapali Park okay. near uh, East London Masjid. And how, how do people register? Okay, uh, registration is pretty simple. They need to go to our website, which is www.hopeandknowledge.com forward slash deaf ride. And the word and is actually the word and is from the symbol. So is all the information there on the website? All the information is there. With the contact details? Our contact details mm. and a link to complete the registration form as well. Now, is there any age restriction? The age restriction is there, um, is 16, between 16 to 17 we need parents' consent. Okay. Um, and then other than that, 18 plus. Okay, and how many people are we aiming for? Well, so, well, so far we have got around 80 people registered. Already registered, Already confirmed. Registered. Yeah, confirmed. Uh. This will be, I think I confirmed with Brother Azad as well, this will be the first time ever mm -hmm. a cycle charity is taking place in support of deaf people, deaf community. Mm. Uh, so the, hence we've nicknamed it the Deaf Ride um, because we want to raise awareness for, for, for the Muslim uh, deaf community. Now the question I would have is not necessarily all the people that have registered the ATP people they have mentioned all people who will be inshallah joining soon might be accustomed or familiar with cycling. So what trainings or um, any, any, is there anything in place for the brothers that are not quite frequent they're not too good in cycling or they don't know much about cycling. Yeah. How, if they want to get engaged, what sort of training are they in place? No, absolutely. Uh, to, um, I'm actually quite pleased to say that in the, every year we do this regional ride, like previous year, London to Hastings, London to Oxford, Cambridge to London. These are what the previous Different cities. Years, different cities that mm. we do. Even though we get the brothers actually repeatedly signing up again, mm -hmm. we always get a big influx of new riders who also come in place. And through our experience for the last three to four years of, of doing the, dealing with this, we've now, alhamdulillah, got a system implemented with our, um, uh, with our training plan that we have that caters, that actually prepares you for the, for the actual event. Um, so how long does that preparation take place? I mean, we've actually just started our training ride for the London to Margate. When uh, is it happening? It, the trainings hmm. are every Saturday morning. Every Saturday morning, yeah. okay. Um, once they register, they get the information of the training schedule. All the details get sent. Um, what I was saying was... Now, the other thing I wanted to also ask you, is there any registration fee involved? There is. Um, unfortunately, obviously, there is other cost element to it as well. With Hope and Knowledge, our main aim is we always try to minimise cost um, because our main aim is to get brothers into cycling. So while there's a brotherhood there, there's the essence of getting fit as well and the whole thing within helping the community. So we try to minimise the cost as possible. So the registration fee is £25. However, with £25, we get in the whole support vehicle that's going to be there throughout the whole London to Margate in case some of the brother can't take part. They have to get onto the, again, the minibus. That will also bring the bikes back. We also have a coach that's going to take and bring everybody back from Margate back to East London. Uh, we also have a full barbecue in, by the beach in, uh, in Margate. Um, and also there's a jersey. If I could just sh quickly show you a jersey um that we've got this is the one uh that is that the jersey that will be yeah this is the custom okay. jersey every rider that participates will get with Ali so Shara. they'll be wearing this jersey they'll be wearing this okay um again 
when you have 80 people riding through streets so there's London, cost involved to even making cost this involved. Mm. And, i mean to be honest with you yeah we, we always try to minimize it and so as, as something like this will always bring awareness people will ask questions throughout the as, as we cycle we generally get people asking questions what are you doing this for what's the cause for i mean that means that whatever people will be uh, the fees that would they will be paying for will be fully dedicated for the costs that are involved there. Absolutely. I mean, like I said, Hope and Knowledge or HNK Cycle Club, mm -hmm. we are purely volunteer that we don't take a single penny from what we do. Okay, so there's, uh, the donation fully gets uh, utilised with the services you Absolutely. provide. Okay, now the other thing is, um, where do you, I mean, we used to, you mentioned about Alta Valley Park, uh, people will be meeting there, I gather, and is that the, uh, uh, do they need to come back again cycling or how, how is the return journey? So the, the return journey, we'll have um, vans that's going to be to bring it back the cycle. Okay, so it's a one-way journey. It's a one-way journey, approximately 75 miles. Now, the other element of this issue would be health and safety. Now, a lot of brothers, they might want to engage in cycling, uh, perhaps engaging in a course that you're involved with, but perhaps the health might not allow them. So what uh, checks or what medical issues are there in place or uh, any, any, any health and safety issues are there in place that to ensure the people who will be participating are fully healthy and will be able to cycle for that uh, particular yeah, mile mean, or length? Um, part of our registra online registration form does ask you certain questions about your health, if there's any particular medication that you're on. And we do look with that against the uh, British Cycling to make sure if there's anything that will actually be challenging for them to take part in cycling. Um, other than that, in terms of the fitness, again, from our, through our experiences, then we have alhamdulillah, 30, 40 experienced riders, senior riders of hope and knowledge. Um, within that, within our training, we get to pick out some of the brothers, their weaknesses and their strength, and we help them throughout the training process to get them fit and ready. Um, as of yet, I could say that last year we did London to Hastings, again, 80 miles, and everybody that took part, 70% were complete newbies, and they completed it. Alhamdulillah, successfully completed successfully it. With a barbecue at the end by the beach. <laughs> <laughs> that, that <laughs> that's good, Alhamdulillah. I mean, the other thing I would have uh, is just uh, to make sure we're fully aware. Is there any prizes involved? Is there, is there any a, a, any gifts giveaway there? We don't we don't actually try to go into that because in case it affects people's intention. Intention, okay, rising. fair enough. Um, yeah, so we try to stay away from that. And when is the deadline for the registration? The deadline for the registration is Sunday, um, 5th of February. So, um, again, because we need to Which order. is next week, Monday? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, what about if someone is thinking that not to register, but to be there on the day? Will it be possible to accommodate or what do you encourage more? Yes, absolutely. I mean, if they, if they, if they want to come, come for the day, if, if, if you've got people that wants to take part in the ride and they also want their friends and family to meet them by the beach, we can also provide barbecues for the friends and family. Um, we had that last year. They can enjoy the um, beach beach side with the barbecue and everything else, we, we can also provide that as well. Now with the registration, is it only online based or is there other methods of registering? It's actually online based at the moment. Now some people might not have access to internet due to various reasons, they might not be IT literate and so on and so forth. So for them, is there any alternative? Absolutely, I mean there's a contact number on that website, hopeandknowledge.com. If you can tell the website again? Yeah, it's hope and knowledge. the word and, A-N-D, okay. knowledge.com forward slash deaf ride. Um, there's a flyer there with a contact number. If they contact us saying they can't complete the form again, we'll be more than happy to, to um, deal with it separately. Great. And does Ali Shara website not provide details of this uh, air cycling event? Yes, we do. Um, also, if you go on alishara.com forward slash deaf ride, you'll also find full details of that. Of course, they can contact Ali Shara as well. If they want to come into Ali Shara as well, we can provide that support. Thank you very much, brother um, Azad Hussain. Now, brother Amin Habib, as you're a teacher, now, you did mention about different spectrum of hearing. Now, when you talk about different spectra, you know, in a room when you have to amplify the sound, there could be certain issues like, for example, the noise might be going out of the class. It might perhaps disturb the other community or other, wherever you are based. Now, how do you tackle this issue? How do you ensure that the other community or the other society or perhaps people of other faith might be somewhere around you? They're not disturbed. Yeah, so um, with the students, because like you've rightfully mentioned that sound is, plays a big um, factor in today's learning, we first try and obviously, as you would do with any group of students, get them into an isolated room, um, try and use carpets and floors which don't amplify the noise too much. And um, of course, most importantly, the students um, all have a hearing aid and a cochlear implant to help them listen properly. 
um, without it, of course, varying, level, varying levels of deafness would make it very difficult for them to engage at all. And I think the one thing I noticed is my second year of teaching, the one thing I noticed very quickly was that students, when they can't hear you very well, they immediately switch off. And they don't really take much in because they can't access what you're saying. So um, through the hearing implants and the cochlear aids, that allows them to try and pick up as is much as Is there any major difference between the two? There is a difference. So mm. the hearing aid is what amplifies the noise in the room. Okay. So they're able to hear. Mm. Whereas the cochlear implants allow sound waves that they receive. Uh, so it's a bit scientific here. But when sound waves come into their ears, it allows them to bypass the areas of the ear which are slightly not working as well. Mm -hmm. So that it goes straight to the nerves that go up to the brain and allow them to understand the noise. That's great. Now, what would you say to the teachers who are, mashallah, professional teachers out there like yourself, but they're t t um, teaching in the mainstream school, would like to get involved with the Lishara perhaps in the weekend? What sort of advice would you give to them? How can they get involved? Um, so, Alishara have um, opened a few new schools recently. Where are so, they? Um, the first school was in Whitechapel originally, and last year Redbridge was opened. And this academic year now, there's a new school in Luton. Luton, okay. So, so is the intention going uh, nationwide? Inshallah. Inshallah. Uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, now, Brother Azad Hussain, there's another issue that I wanted to specifically touch on is the sign language khutbah. Mm -hmm. Now, if you can touch a little bit about it, because obviously people who frequently visit Islam the Mosque, they can understand and can relate. Perhaps a lot of other Messiahs might not be doing it at this moment in yeah. time. Now, if you can briefly touch for within 30 seconds, um, what is this? what does this involve? So obviously, uh, as you know, we take for granted the fact that we have accessibility to, to the khutbah and the khutbah s serves a very essential role within the Muslim community in providing at least a weekly reminder touching upon current affairs and so, uh, spiritual issues. The deaf community for the large part haven't had that. Um, we specifically provide an interpreter who has uh, been versed in Islamic lexicology. Mm -hmm. um, he understands Islamic context, Islamic history, and so on and so forth. Um, on a weekly basis, we will get an interpreter. Um, he will liaise he's with... He's a qualified... He's a qualified um, mm -hmm. uh, interpreter registered with a professional body. Um, he will come in. He will liaise with the imam. He will do whatever the relevant professional um, pre preparation work is. And then thereafter, he will uh, try interpret the khutbah live to an audience. Um, that khutbah is also available to be uh, viewed uh, through live streaming to an audience of over thousands as well as through uh, televised channels. So in other words, the Dick community are not deprived of the understanding of the khutbah? Within the vicinity that we operate, no mm -hmm. they're not, but unfortunately there's probably only three, two or three mosques in the UK that we know that are doing this. Now if some mosque wants to get involved and wants to have the sign language within the masjid, what should they do? So they can con t contact us, um, you can contact us uh, on info at, at alishara.com, mm -hmm. um, that's alishara, A -L -I S-H-A-R-A-H dot com and inshallah we can provide the full support for what, what they need to basically make sure uh, that they uh, are, understand the sensitive needs of deaf people and also to um, provide interpreters for their services. Thank you very much for that inshallah and uh, my last word uh, to uh, if I can ask brother Amin Habib I've been told that you're learning sign language. That's correct. How difficult it is. It's um, so I'm doing my level one at the moment, and it's split into three sub levels. So I've uh, alhamdulillah passed my first sub level. Uh, they call it 101, and I'm now on 102, which is a bit tricky. Um, I do need to revise a bit more. Thank you very much for that, inshallah. Um, f finally, as I was saying, my last uh, five and uh, ten seconds. Final words to my audience. So Jazakallah khair uh, to cha uh, Channel S for having us and Jazakallah khair to our audience uh, who very generously, mashallah, donated to our organization during the month of Ramadan through which, alhamdulillah, we've been able to establish a new school in Luton through which now, alhamdulillah, we have a number of qualified interpreters, uh, linguists, Arabic linguists, deaf consultants who, who are on a week-by-week -week basis working on translating the Quran so that for the first time in British history, uh, uh, the visual representation of the words of Allah is available so the deaf community can learn what the wahi uh, which the Messenger brought. Jazakallah khair. Thank you very much. And final word from you, Shamsul Abidin by people. How can people get involved and what should they do? And final words in 10 seconds. Uh, in 10 seconds, <coughs> I'll second, just say I encourage everyone to participate in this event, London to Margate. It's the first ever deaf ride supporting our Muslim deaf community. Um, if the sisters out there get your husbands, your brothers to come and support them. What's the website? Our website is www.hopeandknowledge.com forward slash deafride. 
And uh, the email address if they need to get in touch with Ali Shara? It's info at alishara.com. And the website? A website is uh, www.alishara.com. Thank you very much. That's all. Our time is up now, inshallah. Thank you very much for joining with us and sharing your valuable knowledge. You. And uh, with this, my dear viewers, we have come to the conclusion of our tonight's discussion. I'm going to talk about Al Ishara Shonge, especially the unique project. Tara particularly deaf community shade kaaj korche ebong ei sarkar ei deshe jekhane amra boshobash korchi tara bole dekhen ekta slogan ache every child matters jekhane rashtriyo bhabe eto gurutto dewa hoy as a musliman as a muslim community amader keno ei negligence ta prothome ei ei proshno amader ke jiggesh korte hobe ebong secondly jader bachchara ei rokom paristhiti te achen it is our responsibility to ensure that they need to be looked after we need to make sure that the equal amount of opportunities are given to them karon amader amra tader ke kokhono deprive korte parbo na ebong sobcheye important bishoy ti hocche onek deaf community r bachchara kintu islam theke shore jacchen matro ei jonnoi because they don't understand jar jonno as a channel less amra mone kori eta ekta responsibility channel less ei rokom project gulo ki shahajjo shohayota korar take ei rokom unique project for the betterment of the muslim community here in the uk which is primarily based in the uk and targeting the british muslim community amra asha korbo apnara shobai ei rokom project er sathe ongsho grohon korben ebong jader ability ache physically fit jara achen apnara onugroho kore amader ke ekhane bola hoyeche je website please feel free ali shara website ache hnk er website ache apnara please visit korben I want detail guli apnar oikhan theke niye please do register that's all from me for today inshallah agamite abar dekha hobe assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh